Hello guys, welcome back. In my previous video, we learned how to make this graphic abstract. But this time, I'm going to show you how you can add animation to this graphic abstract. So first of all, just take that graphic abstract and what you need to do is that you need to do everything one by one in simple steps. So let's copy this object first and paste them in a second separate slide. I'm pasting them in a separate slide to make it more convenient. We will then quickly select these two objects and then we will right click and click on the group and then group these items. After that, I'm going to go to the animation pane. As you can see right now, I will click on the animation pane. There is no animation on the right hand side. So when I click on appear animation, you can see one animation has been added in the next slide. So now what we are going to do is we are going to copy our second item. But now focus on one thing. When I add an animation on this one, what I want to do is I will show you right now. So if I add a pulse animation on this trigger, you will see one thing that this is already appearing in the start rather than the block appearing first. So first, what are we going to do is that we are going to do is that we are going to click on another animation that it should appear first and then it will start another animation which is pulse. But at the current moment, if you want two animations together, you need to add an animation instead of just clicking on animation. So now you can see that simple trigger has two animation. One is the appear animation and another one is the trigger animation. So this is how we do it. So now what I'm going to do is let's see the slideshow first. The block comes first and then comes a the trigger. So it works fine. Now let's exit the slideshow and see what we can do. So now I'm right clicking on my animation which is the trigger animation or the pulse animation. And I'm going to go to the infect options. Now we'll go into the timing section where I will reduce the timing for the trigger to trigger and then I will also make it to repeat till the end of the slide. So now what will happen is that this trigger will appear till the end of the slide and will keep pulsating and appearing again and again until the slide is over or the animation is over. Now let's copy our three chimneys behind. Firstly, just drag and select them and paste them over here. Now I'm going to make all these three chimneys in a separate object. So just select them, right click, group and group them. Similarly, I'm going to do the same thing for the other three chimneys, say two chimneys. So now what we are going to do is we will just group them in single objects and we will then send them at the back by right clicking and send it to the back. Now we want to add an animation which is appear. We want them to appear at a certain time and then stay there for a long time and do not disappear. Now on the right hand side you can see that there is an animation pane. Ignore the two other chimneys just to see the worst animation is working or not. Now it's working fine and a trigger appears and then comes our chimney. So, so far so good. So now we will work on the other parts. So now we will add a wipe of animation from bottom to top and then we will set a timer which is after the first one. So now everything is done. You can simply copy these animation for the other two objects also which I will show you simply in one term. Now when you click on an object you can also see its respective animation in the pane. So now just select an object and do animation painter and select animation on the other part. Similarly do animation painter click on the second object which needs the animation and then select them. So now you can see the animations have been added. Now let's see one more time. Object come first, then come the trigger, then come the first chimney and its smoke, for second chimney and smoke and third chimney and smoke. But now I want the smoke to repeat again and again after every turn. So we will work on that one a little bit later. So first of all, I'm going to go back and paste them these in this slide. So now what I want is that I want my these lines or these connecting lines to appear or to wipe as a wipe animation. So now you have different options. You can either wipe them from left to right or right to left or from top to bottom. So now let's work on this one. Now as you can see, my animation is working fine from left to right, which is from right to left, which is the lines are connecting going from the powerhouse to the reactor. Now I'm going to adjust its speed a little bit to make it a little bit more, less faster or more fast. Now I'm also going to make them repeat until the end of the slide. Now let's go and quickly copy our reactor. There are different ways to do an animation on a reactor. You can do it as an object or you can also do it separately. So what I'm doing is I'm making an outline first and I want them to appear like this first. So that means that first the reactor comes and then the inside of the reactor I will show. So right now I'm just grouping 
uh, these objects into single objects so that I don't have to make them appear separately. Rather, I will make them appear as a single object. So I'm just sending them back right now so that they don't appear in the front side. I'm going to copy the simple shape and I'm going to paste here. I'm going to remove this gradient and make it to a solid fill which is white. Now, let's click on the reactor and make it a single object. So I'm going to select the lid and I'm going to select the down part. And I'm then going to group them as a one object by just right clicking and going into group and group options. I'm going to make an animation appear animation. So what happens is after the chimney comes and the line comes, the reactor will appear. So please ignore the previous other parts. So they are not part of a animation right now. We will just consider them right now. So after the reactor, I want my white fill to appear. So I'm going to wipe it from the bottom to the top and it will appear after my reactor. And then I will select all my reactor and the motor together because I forgot that to put that in the first part. I'm going to add an animation again. So now see, when I add an animation, the animation come in the latest part. So when I select the reactor, you can see the reactor animation is in the last part. But when I said select the rectangle, it's on the top of the reactor. But I want them to be in a way that the react reactor comes first and then comes the react rectangle. So I'm going to drag its position to up so that it comes accordingly. So now what I'm going to do is, we are going to see an animation one more time. Ignore the temperature gauge and the pressure gauge and just focus on the other parts which includes the reactor. And then comes the wipe part, wiping off from the bottom to the top. So now, let's work on the inside which is the small, the feed and the water and the gradient. Just copy them and paste them over here. And then, now what we are going to do is, we are going to add animation to the feed. And then going to add animation to the water and then going to add animation to the gradient which is the wipe animation. So firstly just add simple animation to the first two blocks which is the feed, the brown one, the blue one and then add a wipe animation to the reactor gradient. So I'm adding a wipe animation to the reactor so it goes from the bottom to the top and then I will work on the other parts. Now just add an animation to the temperature gauge which is the wipe one and it again starts from the bottom to the right. To make the animation automatic, you can also add before previous or after previous, but I'm not adding any before previous after previous to make it more uh, easier for you. So whenever you click and then the item comes as you can see the image. So I'm clicking and the, another item comes, then the second one and then the third one, then will come the reactor, temperature gauge and the pressure gauge. So for the beginners, I recommend to do the on click animation because it's more easier and you can when change to a video, then it will automatically appear and it will uh, will trigger automatically. So now let's work on the pipelines for the reactor. So these pipelines go into the hydrogen tank. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to send them back and then again go to the animation pane, wipe animation and remember this time from left to right. Again wipe animation this time from top to bottom and then sim similarly wipe animation from top to bottom which is from top. Yes that's right. Now I'm going to go back copy this uh, reactor and copy all these objects. After copying these objects, I'm going to go back to the second slide and paste it over there. After you paste it over there, again similar process that you did with the reactor. To make it convenient, I'm going to remove the text first. Removing the text, text makes it easier for you to edit the image in the background. So I'm just going to cut, cut it for a while and then we'll repaste it after some time. But doing instead, I'm going to delete the top text first and make this shape fill into a solid fill which is a white fill. After that, what we can do is we can add an appear animation to the reactor itself and to the white background. Then copy the front text and the gradient at the back side and you can add and paste them in the second slide again. So now just adjust this background pattern fill and adjust that so that the white background doesn't appear as much and then add an animation wipe animation from bottom to the top. Now let's quickly move to another part. Let's copy this text and move this text to the second slide and then paste it over there. Go to the second slide and you can just use a shortcut control plus V or just you can do the right click and paste it. Now for some reason the text is at the background but I cannot see now but I'm going to copy this text for a while and I'm going to paste it over here. Later on what we will do is we are going to work on this part later on. Right now I didn't figure out this problem but I will show you how you can figure it out later on when there is a problem and also how you can adjust the timing of the animation. This will be a good example for you to learn. So now let's copy this slides, these pipelines and then just go into the second slide and paste it over there. 
I'm going to copy one more building over there which I left in the previous time. I'm going to copy them and paste it over there in the second slide. Simply control plus V and paste them and then send it to the back. Now it looks much more better. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to do the same process that we did. Go to animations, use animation pane instead and select the file that you want. Then click on wipe again. This time should be from top to bottom. Again wipe animation from top to bottom. Now this time wipe animation from left from right again to the other elbow wipe animation from the top similarly wipe animation from the top again so now you mostly have remembered how to do the wipe animation from top to bottom from left to right and when you have to do it so now for convenience i'm removing the picture first and doing the animation for the previous part so that i can easily edit them and then i'm going to paste them back again oh the most of the animation part is done or we are going to add an animation to this part which is we want them to appear first or you want to wipe them first so it depends on you what kind of animation you want for this particular building so i was thinking to add a wipe animation or a pulse animation so i thought of adding just an appear animation to make it simpler so now you can notice that in the animation pane you can see the numbers for every animation remember that so now is the problem that i was solving before that there is a text which i cannot see and also i cannot copy them from here I tried dragging them but I couldn't locate them. Eventually I had to delete these parts or have to add the animation to the second part. What happened was that the animation wasn't added to the pipeline behind the reactor which you can see on the top. Let's just remove the top parts first and then bring them to the front side or just delete them and then re-add them again. Add an animation to the previous parts and then add the reactor again and then the other background which includes the fail and the pattern fail. Now add the wipe animation to the pipe which goes from top to bottom. But now there comes one problem. When you add an animation, you can see in the animation pane, the animation comes at the bottom. So that means the sequence is not in aligned. So what we will do is that we are going to drag that and move that to its original position by selecting one of the icons. So now let's move to the other part. And adjusting the text size of the hydrogen tank so that it can appear within the margins of the tank and doesn't go out. I will show you how you can drag and drop or you can drag the position. So now you select on this one, as you can see, it appears at the bottom of the slide and the tank itself appears on the top. I want them to drag and bring it back to the position where the tank comes. So now let's observe this one. So now one more fault, just delete this one and then restart the animation. When you do the slideshow, you can see the chimneys comes, then the pipeline comes, the tank starts and then the gauge and then the pipe starts, hydrogen tank comes and the fill starts then comes the animation for the pipelines and then the hydrogen tank. So far so good. Now I just copy the lines and we'll paste them here. Now we will adjust its uh, animation timings and we will add the wipe animation from right to left and then we will add adjust the timing. So now you can see that this animation appear at the bottom but I want them to appear when the reactor comes. So when this reactor comes or you select this icon you can see that the animation pane the number 17 is selected. But the actual number for the lines are 28. So what I will do is we will just select these two animation and we'll drag them and bring it back to the number 17 or before number 17. So that means these power lines comes and then the reactor starts. So this is how you make an animation from a graphic abstract. I showed you how you can make a graphic abstract in my previous video. You can also learn how to make an animation to an, any graphic abstract that you want. I simply use two animation which is the peer animation and the wipe off animation. So you have you can see that you have so much to do with a simple animation now i'm just going to copy the text back here again and then we'll add a, another animation to this uh text that i pasted just now but remember again when you add an animation this animation is going to appear in the end so there are different options you can do with the text you can make them appear at once or you can make them appear as a paragraph now what i will do is i will select them and will bring it to the top of my animation so that means my text comes first then comes the powerhouse, then comes the chimneys, then the lines, the reactors, the pipeline to the hydrogen tank, then comes to the facility. So that's how you make a simple animation in PowerPoint. I made this video a bit more simpler and more easier and more slower so that you can understand more properly. If you have any questions, if you have any queries, you can may ask, you may ask anytime you want. So now I'll show you how you can export this video animation in the video. Just go to the export option and then click on the time of the slide you want to spend and you can increase the quality or decrease the quality as you want. Right now I'm making a 7.1080p and then I will create a video. After clicking that it will ask you the destination you want to save this video file. Just type any name that you want 
I'm going to write a simple animation, graphical, abstract, or sample video. I'm just going to save them, and then you can see in the right in the bottom the video is being processed. So that was the tutorial for how you can make a graphical abstract into an animation in simple steps. I hope you guys like my video. Do leave your comments down in my section below, and if you haven't watched my previous videos, do watch them. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.